All right, guys, we're gonna try to get this truck. I want a little service call to get this uh, Detroit. It's a Freightliner Cascadia. The Detroit engine in it, and it won't start. So let's see if we can figure it out. All right. All right. So we got the batteries. They were put a battery charger. They said it still won't start. So let's check it out. All right, guys, we're going to check the battery voltage and see where, where the state of charge is at right now. <coughs> Put the battery, the red on the positive and the blue, uh, I mean, the red on the positive and the black on the negative. It's at 13.3. I know it's not a char charger, but it's it's a good state of charge. It probably has a little service charge, so. All right, let's see if we can crank this thing up. Ignition. Right, the clutch switches go bad on these a lot. Clutch switches go bad. Alright. Put the pedal down. You hear nothing. A lot of times I get in these trucks to double check and see if it starts. A lot of times I feel to push the clutch all the way down. To because of the clutch switch right underneath the pedal and just to double check make sure they're doing it right sometimes they just don't push hard enough all right so we're gonna get out of the truck and go check it out now all right guys we're not the truck's not started on here no clicking or anything so right down here is the starter on a cummins actually it's the... all right guys there's a starter with the power to the big power wire battery power and then you get the little uh, clutch switch the little wire on top right that's where we're going to test at so that's where the it goes from the ignition to the clutch switch to the ecm to that little uh wire right there the signal from the from the ignition so <clears throat> we're going to put our power probe and a wire connector right there and we're going to try to start it and then you can see if, if, if there's power there when we try to turn the ignition on and you put the we have to put the clutch plate on to try to start it and then it should be power uh if there's power there then that's uh that means the start is usually pretty bad or bad so it's bad if there's power there so um <clears throat> if not then you go to the next step would be to look at the clutch switch that'd be the easiest and before you go more in depth so let's go look at get our power probe all right guys this is called a power probe so you take these two ends right here the uh clips negative and positive and this is like a glorified test slide so you can send i'll show you Hook it up and hook it up into positive or negative. So you have to hook it up right there at the alternator. So you get the red wire, the positive. You can, you can put it right, negative right there. All right. Let's hook this up and I'll show you. All right, guys. We're gonna hook up my power probe, which we already did. We took the alternator positive and negative. Um, as you can see, it has a tip there. If you touch that's negative. There's a negative right there. It's and it's a negative, you see the green, minus. And then if you touch that tip to power, it should light up red, and it'll show you the voltage. And uh, see where it says probably the switch, that's negative, you could touch, you could add to ground, and you could set power. That's the difference between a power probe. You have you have supplied to add ne uh, negative, and you have, uh, and you can set 12 volts, battery volts. So uh, we're gonna hook this thing up and it does have a, a, a sound beeper, so for positive and negative, there's two different tones. You can turn up with a switch right there, a little black button. And uh, it's a great troubleshooting tool, so I would I would recommend this to anybody. Um, it's just really, after you get used to it, it's just, they're really nice to use, man. I really highly recommend them over a test light any day. They're like $100, $130. So as you can see, I've touched, I have a jumper wire. I'm going to that, in the beginning where I show you the little wire on the top of the solenoid. I, I connect it to that little uh, uh, wire connected to the solenoid. And I'm going to kick, connect it right to the tip of the power probe. And uh, I'm going to hit it on, I'm going to set it up on top of the windshield. So when you're by yourself, you set it on top of the windshield so you can see it when you try to start the truck. So, and uh, it, it should show voltage in the screen. And then the negative will go go away if they're if uh, they're getting power. 
So uh, let's go inside and the truck. And All right, see guys, what this is what I decided to do. I hooked it up with the little dripper wire from the solenoid all the way up, and I put it in the windshield and I connected it so I could see when I try to start. All right, so let's see if we see anything. As you can see, I'm uh, turning the ignition, and you can see the right there on the green minus. <clears throat> it's going to go away and it just show voltage in the screen. You can't, it's hard to see. So it's getting power. So that means one thing uh, that means that your clutch switch is good, and everything down going to that wire is good. So that's a good sign. It's, the other thing is that uh, the starter is bad. So if you're in a situation, you can either try to get it clipped over. I'm going to show you how to do that and um, some other tricks you can do to see if you can get a starter to get off the road. So, but it, it does need a starter. trick you can sometimes get a, you get a hammer and you smack the starter. There. Right there. See it? All right. Try to smack it. hit the starter to see if we can jar up the solenoid. Sometimes you can get them to unjar to get them turned over. So I'm going to uh, connect as you see how we have power pro hooked up. Remember on the power pro there's a power. You can send power to that solenoid and you can activate it. Just make sure it's not in gear and make sure you have chalks on it because you don't want to get yourself ran over. So I'm going to send uh, 12 volts there and you can kind of bump it and sometimes you get it to start just get it off the road but it still needs a starter. Volts right to that solenoid. Keep clicking. It's, it's not doing the starter's back. See? Send it's mobile, it's nothing. Nothing's happening. You can hear it clicking, but not activating. So this starter is bad and needs a new starter. Alright, that's the lesson today. Please subscribe and like my channel. Bye.